So here you are, spirit. <sighs> she is the Lady of the Forest! You will address her properly! You've taken a name, spirit? And you've given names to your pets? These beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages. Worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. That is true. I am not here to talk. I am here for Witherfang's heart, and that is all. <sighs> he has come to kill you, lady. And what of you, mortal? Do you support Zathrian in this, even after all that you have heard? So, you force me to talk. What is the point? We know where this ends. Their nature compels it, just as mine does. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit. As is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? This is an old forest mortal, and I am its spirit, its heart. I was not summoned from across the veil, but pulled from the trees, the rock, and soil. I was bound to the body of the great wolf, Witherfan. Not possessed, like a sylvan or the undead, but bound into one being. Such powerful magic, however, could not be accomplished without Zathrian's blood. The curse and his life are intertwined. Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian, but that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No! That is not how it is! No. The curse has a life of its own, though Zathrian's life depends on it. His death plays a part in its ending, however. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! You see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way! We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. I cannot defeat you. Finish it. 
Kill him now! No, Swift Runner. We will not kill him. If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? I cannot do as you ask, Spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I, I cannot do it. Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. You shame me, Spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you will do it? You will end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us... Let us put an end. It's over. She's gone, and, and we're human. I can scarcely believe it. Compared to the beast inside that we had to fight every moment, this is just fine. It feels glorious. Time to pay up. What do you mean? I have this shield if you want it. I found it here a very long time ago. You're welcome to it. Thank you. We will never forget you.